Women FC TV with Adam Hinchwood following a 4 1 win over Slough Town in the National League South. Uh, Adam, how did you feel after that one? No, oh, yeah, that, that score line um, sounds good. Uh, a place like this uh, really is a tough place to come. Um, you know, Scott gets his teams organised, they work tremendously hard, and you know, you, you've got to be at your best to, to score four goals. Um, you know, disappoint, disappointed we didn't keep the clean sheet, but you know, they've they peppered our goal with a few chances tonight, and you know, I thought the lads defended uh, really well. Um, you know, a couple of moments that looked like they were going to get shots away, and a couple of the blocks from Joe Rye and Aaron, you know, they've been, been immense in the last two games. Um, and yeah, it look look a threat going the other way. So it, it's it's good. Um, pleased with how the start. Um, but yeah, we're going to have a real tough test on Saturday now. So it's about dusting ourselves down and you know getting ready for, for that test. And today, talk about this being a good organised side to that moment. They were they were pretty well structured. It's like we had that little bit of quality to, to beat them. Ricky Aguilar being a standout example. His, his two goals in the first half. How good a performance did he have today? Oh yeah, he showed, um, you know, in particular the second one, his first touch I thought was, was tremendous. Um, a little bit of quality that, that, you know, we probably at times didn't have last season. Um, but yeah, uh, you know, we've, we've got a great, great squad at the moment. Um, great bench. Um, you know, disappointed for, for Chops and, and Ollie Starkey in the last couple of games not to, to get on the pitch. Um, but, you know, the, the the young players and they'll get their, their time definitely um, but yeah the impact that the, that the squad's having is um, is really good at the moment and we've got a training group back we've got Jake Kane and, and Tutty Ruben all back um, at the at the at the ground training tonight as well so we've got a group that are working hard to, to try and get into the squad as well so you know it's, it's it's in a good place at the moment and we just got to try and keep it there and, and keep on working hard and um, yeah keep everyone Really motivated. And speaking of players in the recovery trial, Juan Luca today is first goal for the club. Um, I think it was a little bit frustrating from not quite getting it last week on, on Saturday, but it's tonight. No, yeah, absolutely delighted for him. You know, I know myself what it's like when you've been out for a long time with an injury. Um, you know, he's, he's so desperate to do well. He's got that hunger about him, and you know, I think he shows in the games just little bits of bits of quality that he's got. Um, you know, and he's, he's going to be some player for us. Uh, there's no question about that. And uh, you know, that's that's the, that's a good thing. I look round, and we've got got some real quality. And I think, you know, even in the last couple of games, there'll be players out on that pitch thinking um, they can do more. Um, and you know, that, that's good if they're thinking that themselves. And um, you know, like I say, they're a very honest, hard-working group. And um, you know, I can't praise them enough. And I'm delighted they're getting their rewards for, for the effort they put in in pre-season. Giving you selection. You look at Michael Cross and Sorondo in the midfield, these last couple of games have been absolutely immense. It's going to be quite difficult for someone like Kane, who's an outstanding player, to, to get back into that team. No, that's it, and I think that's 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 what you want, isn't it? You want Kane putting a bit of pressure on him, you want Jake putting pressure on him, you want Tati putting pressure on him, and you know, if their performances uh, fall below par, they're ready to come and take their place, and I think that bodes well for a healthy squad. And you know, we've got cup games starting very soon, and you know, a squad's going to be needed. Um, you know, we're going to need 20, 22 players. There's no, there's no question. Um, you know, we've probably been reliant on 14 or so for just now. But you know, when we get a, a full squad to, to choose from as well, um, you know, it's just, just healthy for competition. And you know, it's, it's say it's a really good thing, and um, it bodes well for the future. Head to Saturday, back of Woodside Road, yeah. over the lead off the two games on that road. The team has just got promoted, but they've started off pretty strongly. What are you expecting to come from? Oh, yeah, listen, it'll be a tough test. Um, one of the tough tests we've, we've faced, uh, they're very hard working. Um, they, they all know their roles within the team, um, and they leave every ounce of energy out on that pitch. Um, you know, so it's going to be a tricky, tricky game. Um, but yeah, one we look forward to. Hopefully, you know, we get get the crowd behind us and we get a nice big crowd. Um, hopefully, the weather's better than it has been in, in recent weeks, and we can get a nice big crowd at Woodside. That should be nice. Um, I think the boys deserve that. Um, you know, how they performed and the position they got themselves in at this early stage. Uh, it'd be nice to, you know, support them and get a really big big crowd in at home on Saturday. Um, so yeah, we're hoping for that. And 
yeah, it's like I say, it's going to be a real tough game. They're a good side. You, know, you don't get back to back promotions and without um, having a bit of quality. They've got some quality in their ranks as well. They're not just the hard work inside, there's some quality there as well. So, yeah, we, we know we've got to be at our best and we can't afford to, to, um, to slack off at all. Um, and it's a challenge that we look forward to.